Welcome back. Well, it looked like it was going to be a miraculous victory, and it turns into a heartbreaking defeat as the Leopards are down by a 62-60 to score. And, of course, Mike is standing by with the head coach and also our player of the game. And they're waiting uh, to go to him. I guess the story for the Leopards tonight is Natalie Kukowski continues her double-double as she has 17 points and 14 rebounds. So her fourth consecutive double-double of the year. No Lafayette player has ever done that to start a season. And uh, Kia wants to get inside with her team, so we will not have an interview with Kia. As uh, Let's take a look at some of the numbers in uh, tonight's ball game. As uh, the, the two big numbers are the most important, John. Yeah, well, you know, Gary, I think the turnover issue, and when you play the way St. Peter's plays, uh, Turnovers hurt some teams more than others. Uh, St. Peter's is going to play up-tempo. They want to create a lot of turnovers. They did that. Uh, the way they play with a young team, they'll probably live with some turnovers. The other thing is uh, the way they shot the ball from downtown, Gary. I mean, uh, they're 52% from three-point range. And the real story for them was the young freshman, uh, Richardson. She was absolutely in fuego. I mean, she was 9-for-11 uh, with the free-throw line, 4-for-6 from downtown. Uh, you know, d down the stretch, she took things over. But it was complimentary play from Piero, uh, complimentary play from the first half from Magazine. Uh, Lafayette, I think, Gary, it's a wounded leopard. They've got a lot of pieces that are missing right now. There were some bright spots. Alex Cantwell stepped up big down the stretch, almost pulled this thing out single-handedly. Um, but Kia Damon's going to have to look for some of the positives. They never gave up. Uh, some of the freshmen got great experience going against as quick a team as they'll probably see. Uh, they took their uh, they took their hits, but uh, Gary, in the end, they had a chance to win this basketball game. All right, let's uh, give you the final numbers for St. Peter's. They're 62 points on 18 field goals, 10 for 19 from beyond the arc, and 16 for 22 from the foul line. 15 points for Perro and 13 rebounds, a double double for her. Rihanna Richardson tonight, 29 points, a career high for her. The Lafayette 60 points on 23 field goals, 7 for 18 from beyond the arc, 7 for 11 from the free throw line, 17 points and 14 rebounds for Natalie Kukowski, Michaela Wilson with a career high 9 rebounds, Olivia Martino with 13 points and it ties her career high with 6 rebounds as Lafayette goes to 3-1, and one. St. Peter's to 3-2, and two. let's go to the highlights of the night's game. Here's John. And there were plenty of exciting highlights, Gary. This young lady, Richardson, in the first half, the magazine was on fire, Gary. She had four in the first half. She started off the second half with that one right there. I thought Lafayette moved the ball well, Gary. They actually had uh, 17 or 18 assists on their 23 baskets. And uh, that was uh, impressive, moving the ball better. Uh, this one was downtown. That was the magazine's sixth three, and she was absolutely on fire as she went six for nine little two on one here martino to freeland lafayette started catching fire getting some rhythm they had no answer for this young lady 29 points there she steps back knocks down a three richardson only a freshman magazine a sophomore this is a young and talented st peter's team martino brought them back nice find by freeland i thought freeland and, and uh, martino did a nice job as a backcourt combo, Gary, finding each other. There's a mental mistake. You can't leave the shooter. You gotta, you gotta defend her. I mean, she was absolutely on fire. Was Richardson? Uh, this was the play. A little a step back screen. Alex Cantwell downtown ties it with uh, just seven seconds left, and uh, the turnover at the very end of the game. Uh, cost Lafayette what would have been a miraculous comeback victory. They'll head to Florida with a heavy heart at this point. They got to bounce back. John was prophetic. He said you can't win with 20 turno turnovers. He was right. John was also wrong. St. Peter's won with 20 turnovers. 62, <laughs> 60 our final score. For John Leone, the RCN and Lafayette Sports Network television team headed up by John Sabino. We thank you so much for watching. We will be back with you on Wednesday, the 28th of this month when the Lafayette men take on Cornell. And of course the women we will be back with them when they take on the University of Albany. That ball game on December 1st at 2 o'clock. For Mike Joseph, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.